Hello students, in this video I continue to explain how to compute the periodic payment in an annuity. In this time I will be using a combination problem. That will be a problem that combines two different periods. A combination problem could have a period with only the compound interest is working and another period in which there is an annuity. Or maybe we have two different periods with different annuities. And that is the case in this problem. The problem says, mainly invest $350 at the end of each quarter at 3.2% compounded quarterly. At the end of five years, she was able to withdraw equal amounts at the end of each quarter for nine years. How much is the size of each withdrawal? So the situation that we have in this problem is this. There is a period of five years and they tell me that at the end of these five years, she start withdrawing money. But there is an initial period of five years in which she is depositing $350. And this deposit obviously is earning interest. It will have a future value here. And after this period, she start withdrawing the money. And this withdrawal period, it will be of nine years. And we need to compute what will be the withdrawal amount every quarter. So this is what we need to do, obviously, to know this withdrawal at the end of each of these periods, we need to know what will be the amount at the beginning. So for solving this problem, what I'm going to do is using the first annuity, compute the future value of the first annuity, and this future value of the first annuity will be the present value of the next one. Obviously, for this first annuity, we know the payment is 350. Let's take note of this. The payment is 350. We also know the interest that is 3.2% compounded quarterly. So the nominal rate of interest will be 3.2%. And M, the number of compound period, will be 4. This 4 will be useful for computing the periodic interest, 3.2% divided by 4, or 0.032 divided by 4. It will be also useful to compute the number of payments because we noted that the payments are also at the end of each quarter. And if the payments are at the end of each quarter and the conversion period is also quarterly, we have an ordinary simple annuity. And because we have an ordinary simple annuity, we will be using the formula of ordinary simple annuities. Okay, let's compute the number of payments. The number of payments, we know that is T times the number of payments per, per year, but this number of payments per year will be the number of compounded period per year. So it will be five years multiplied by four. This will be equal 20. So this 20 will be the N that we are going to be using in the formula of future value in the first annuity. So this is the formula of future value. We are using this symbol SN as the future value of the zero of payments. R will be the periodic payment, 350. This I, we know that it will be the periodic rate of interest, 0 0.032 divided by 4. And this N is 20. So let's make a substitution and we have this. In every problem in which you have a periodic interest in which you can write the whole amount without any rounding of the number, you can make the division. For example, in this case, 0 0.032 divided by 4 will be 0 0.008. So you can actually type here 0 0.008. There will be other problems in which when you make the division, the number has infinite number of decimal or maybe so many decimal places that it will be better to use the division. So 350, open bracket in your calculator. If you have a scientific calculator, open another bracket and continue typing all the number in your calculator. What I get was this number, 7,558.43. This will be the future value in the first annuity. Okay, this future value will be the present value in the second annuity. So, for finding the payment in the next nine years, for finding the payments in the next nine years, that is actually the questions, what we are going to do is using this SN as the present value. 
So this number 7,558.43 will be the present value in the second part here, when we have this term of nine years. And in this period of time, I'm gonna find the periodic payments. So the periodic withdrawals in this case. In this period, the interest could be different, but in this case, it's the same. It will be 3.2%. So we haven't changed the interest in this problem. Yeah? So we can use that R, the nominal rate of interest is 3.2%. It will be other problems in which you will need to use a different interest. And obviously in these problems that will be stated in the information of the problem. In this case, no, we continue with the same interest and the withdrawal is again quarterly. So the number of payment will be T that is nine multiplied by 436. And then use the formula of present value because for the second annuity here, what we have is the present value. Okay, the formula of present value is this formula, remember? Present value equal the periodic payment multiplied by the factor in this way now, the negative exponent for n and with the minus signs for the one plus i term divided by i. So make a substitution of everything. Now n is 36 and this present value is 7,558.63. Of course, it will be better if you solve for r first. If you solve for r, this i appears multiplying a n and this factor here, one minus one plus i to the power negative n will be dividing at the other side. So you multiply by i both sides and divide by this factor. If you do that, you get that r will be equal to i times a n times the present value divided by this factor. Okay, just make a substitution. i is 0 0.032 over four. A n will be this 7,558.63 and this n will be 36. So you have this. And then use your calculator. Using my calculator, what I get was this number, 242.47. So we can answer that the quarterly deposit accumulate to 7,558.43. So the, this deposit of 350 accumulate to this number and this will be sufficient to provide quarterly withdrawals of 242.47 for nine years. So we know that these withdrawals, that is actually the question, will be 242.47 for nine years. With this, I finish the explanation of this problem and I finish this video. I hope you have found it useful. Thank you.